Domestic violence is unacceptable. I think there's broad consensus about that in today's Australia. But though we have never had better awareness than we do now, and we've never spent more as a society on trying to solve the problem, whether that's through taxpayer support or through philanthropy, domestic violence nevertheless remains a part of the life experience of just too many people. I want to introduce you to Chris Boyle from Stand By You. Now, I've been a supporter of his work for a little while now, and along with my parliamentary colleague, Ross Vasta, I was really pleased to get some early support for funding of a trial of his unconventional approach. It was unconventional then. Well, it delivered some incredible results and is getting attention for all the right reasons. Chris, thank you so much for joining me on the program today. Tell us briefly, what exactly is the problem that Stand By You is trying to solve? We're trying to solve the problem by bringing a new solution into the mix because what we've done so often for the last 40 years is try to police our way out of this and, and arrest our way out, and we know that that's not working. So what we are trying to do is actually ignite those family and friends, those 25 million Australians who are really invested in the solution because it's their loved ones who are isolated and experiencing this. And we are trying to mobilise them to do prevention of domestic family violence, you know. So one of the things you said to me when we were um, getting to know each other was that the art of helping a person, it's usually a woman but not always, yep. um, to get out of a situation where she is at risk of being harmed yep. isn't about extracting her and putting her in a shelter for a couple of days only to come home or to have the police rock up on the front door and, and drag away yep. um, someone from the scene. Instead, it's about building a network of connections around a person who is otherwise experiencing what is essentially a crime of isolation yep. rather than just physical violence. Help my audience understand that. Yeah, isolation amplifies a lot of complexities and that's often the first thing that we try to address and connections are the antidote. What we do, we know that those people who use violence against, you know, women and children and others often seek to isolate them from their family and friends. So it's about reconnecting. And what we try to do is create an awareness within that network, but awareness without action is just worry mm. and it increases their worry and their anxiety. But when we step them through that awareness with context, when we can engage them and reconnect them and give them the things that they need to intervene safely and timely, we're no longer putting those people in the queue for services that they're not eligible for. That escape and hide, it may be necessary at times, but it's never going to solve the problem. And I liken funding that's gone into it. It's like the big bathtub with the plug in it and the taps turned on really hard. And a lot of those awareness strategies have increased the volume of people coming to seek help, but the bathtub's not getting any bigger and it's not able to keep up with the volume. So everything spills out over. Mm. And all those people that reach out for support, well, the bathtub's full. Mm. So what do we want to do? Do we want to buy more bathtubs or do we want to turn the taps off and unplug the tap? That's what we want to do and that's what Stand By You seeks to do by mobilising those family and friends that we can actually create pathways and circuit break those people who are experts in their life, know that they're worried, know that they're in danger, but we don't put them in the queue and we don't throw them in the bath. We make sure that they've got their own network of safety and support to mobilise. So in practical terms, you've got Magnolia House. Yes. Um, I want you to tell people a little bit about what they do there yeah. and tell us about the Stand By You Shield and how that can help people to mobilise those connections of protection. Yeah, so two key solutions from Stand By You. Magnolia Place, Westfield, Helensvale. It's Australia's first all-inclusive walk-in shop fund and thank you for your support to help us get that funding. Uh, we've been operating for nearly three years now with wonderful support from Westfield and some champions in there. Um, so anyone can walk in at any time because we know shops are where people who are experiencing violence and isolation are often only able to go. So we want to be still where expected are. to make dinner, right? Still expected <laughs> to be there and they can craft. It's about time we bring services to people instead of people having to go to services all the time. Our Stand By You Shield is a world first. It, it is essentially three things. It's a device in the shame of like a garage remote button or a watch. It is people and it's a plan. And we ask very simple questions about getting those people who are at risk connected to those people who care. They can press a button 
on their watch or their device Just when their heart starts to race. the device. And then what we do, we've designed a world first solution which sends live audio in a conference room to all of those people whose phones are now ringing. They accept the call like the old reverse chargers, joined into a conference room, can hear one way what's happening in the audio, can talk with each other about whether they can interrupt or if they need to escalate to emergency services. They've got location sent through to them via an SMS and email, and they've got everything that they need in terms of context through the live audio location to mobilise safely. It's immediate, it's tangible, it's evidence-based, and we're getting about 1,600 of those out and no one's ever had to pay a cent for their safety. And what are the results that you're getting for people who have the shield on their wrist yeah. um, to protect them in a situation of vulnerability? Peace of mind for families and those women and kids predominantly are telling us they've never slept better for 20 years. Well, that's a big deal, isn't it? It is indeed. And if the worst comes to worst, you've got a recording of what's been going on to get better outcomes through the justice system. Absolutely. Um, Chris, I am just so proud of the difference that you're making in the lives of um, people who really need it, and they're from all walks of life, um, and the way that you're helping to reduce stigma but also provide practical protection to the people who need it most. Um, I hope that as a result of being on the show, some people will come in as supporters of yours, um, but it's wonderful to see the corporate sector getting behind you as well as that taxpayer support that's Thank been so there much. from time to time. Um, all the best. Keep up the wonderful work in the interests of people in our community. Thanks, Amanda. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Chris.